are prepared, you are organized, you are capable, you got this. Welcome back to CSEC English with Miss Keen. If you are new to the channel, you are most welcome to this awesome learning space. Remember to subscribe, turn on post notification so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. Like, comment, and share. In today's video, we will be looking at the author's purpose. But first, let us look at the objectives for today. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to 1. Define author's purpose 2. State the reasons why authors write 3. Determine the author's purpose Did you know an author writes with one of four general purposes in mind? Authors write to persuade or convince their readers to believe in something. Sometimes, authors write to inform or to teach you about something. Many authors write to entertain people and make them laugh. Some authors write to express their feelings or emotions. You will see three common author's purpose being utilized which can be identified with the acronym PIE, Persuade, Inform, and Entertain. However, for the purpose of this video, we will focus on four to include describe. All authors have a reason or a purpose for writing. Ask yourself, what motivated the author to produce this type of work? What does he or she hope to achieve? Being able to identify the author's purpose is a necessary skill to effectively write your summaries. Writers write with the intention to persuade, to predict, to criticize, to inform, to teach, to entertain or amuse, to create a mood, to describe, to instruct, or to illustrate. All of these can be categorized under the four main edits of author's purpose. Now let us take a closer look at the four main types of author's purpose. The first one is persuade. To convince a reader to believe an idea or take a course of action, the author uses persuasive writing. If the author's purpose is to persuade, the author will want you to believe his or her position. Persuasive pieces are usually non-fiction. Although there are facts, it contains the author's opinions. With the persuasive pieces, it is clear on the author's point of view if he or she is for or against it. To identify when the author's purpose is to persuade, you should ask yourself if the writer wants you to believe in something or take an action. It could be that the writer wants you to buy something. For example, why do you think advertisers mention sometimes that if you buy one, you will get one free? Or, why do you think the most sales of the year happens on Black Friday? Advertisers use strategies to get potential customers. You can identify if the intention or purpose of the writer is to persuade based on some of these techniques such as rhetorical questions, emotional appeal, repetition, photographs, hyperbole, among others. Be sure to look out for these techniques to determine if the author's purpose is to persuade. The next purpose for writing is to inform. To inform or teach the reader the author uses expository writing. 
If the author's purpose is to inform, you will learn something from the selection. Information pieces sometimes use one or more of the following. Facts, details or instructions, places, events, or people. One of the best ways to know if the author's purpose is to inform is to look for factual information. The writer will not use opinions in this type of writing. Be very careful not to confuse the intent of persuasion with this type of writing because persuasive writing also makes use of facts. The difference is that persuasive writing will make use of facts in conjunction with opinions. However, with informational or expository writing, the author will only focus on factual information. The Encyclopedia of Animals, the Recipe Book, and the Earth Science Book were written with the intent to inform. These books present factual information because you can prove what is written to be true. So the next time you read your geography or your biology books, just know that they were written with the intent to inform or to teach you something. Another type of author's purpose is to narrate or entertain. To relate a story or to recount events, an author uses narrative writing. If the author's purpose is to entertain, one goal may be to tell a story or to describe characters, places, or events, real or imaginary. Examples of entertaining text include plays, poems, stories, jokes, or even comic strips. Once a writer is trying to amuse or to entertain a reader, there are certain techniques or strategies that will be employed to capture or to arrest the reader's interest. The most obvious strategy is humor, where characters will tell jokes. However, not all writers will tell jokes. So be on the lookout for other forms of entertainment such as suspense, thriller, adventure, or an action-packed scene. Even if you don't laugh, the purpose of the writer is still to entertain. So even when you watch a scary movie, you know, the little doppie show them, just know that the purpose of the writer was to entertain you. Some people like romance, some like suspense, some like comedy, others like action. Whatever the case is, the purpose of the writer is to entertain you. The final author's purpose we'll be looking at is to describe. To tell what something looks like, sounds like, or feels like, the author uses descriptive writing, written to give information or describe something. Authors use descriptive facts, opinions, and reasons to get the point across. Examples travel guides, news articles, brochures, charts, and instructions. We can find a lot of descriptive pieces in short stories, essays, and other forms of fiction and non-fiction. To identify if the purpose is to describe, you will notice that the writer will use a lot of sensory details to appeal to our senses and how we perceive the world around us. Writers will use powerful adjectives, adverbs, and literary devices in their writing to appeal to the reader. Now let us try to identify the writer's intention in the following extracts. Number one, Stephen writes a letter to his parents explaining why he needs a new car. Is he writing to entertain? to inform or to persuade. 
since Stephen is explaining why he should get a new car, he's presenting all his reasons. He's writing to persuade. Number two, it is recommended that parents read to their children every day starting as early as six months of age. When you read with your children, you are starting them off in a life as a lifelong reader and learner. It is never too late to pick up a book and read. People in their 80s have learned how to read and discovered the pleasure of reading. Turn off the television and read a book. Is the purpose to entertain, to inform, or to persuade? The correct answer is C, to persuade. This is an emotional appeal to do the right thing, read. Also, the last sentence tells you or encourages you to do something. Turn off the television. Rooms are both comfortable and elegant, with full baths, sturdy and rustic wooden furniture. In addition, suites include an extra sitting room. The hotel has a spacious parking where visitors could park their vehicles easily. Moreover, the entire hotel building has wireless high-speed internet, and it's free. The writer's intention in this extract is to describe. The author uses powerful adjectives and adverbs and also makes use of direct personal appeal to lure in potential visitors. Item 4. A chapter in a social studies textbook explaining the reasons for the Civil War. Is the purpose to entertain, to inform, or to persuade? Remember that textbooks present factual information. Therefore, our answer is B, to inform. Item 5. His face appeared in the window. She knew he had been the cause of her waking up at 3 a.m. Was she seeing things? Was his face real? She tried to lie still and decide what to do. Just then, the window shattered. She flew across the room to the hallway and straight into her mother's room. Is the purpose of this extract to entertain? To inform or to persuade? The correct answer is to entertain. The author tried to capture a suspenseful mood in the story. The story is probably fiction. I hope that this video will help you to identify the author's purpose. Remember that authors write to persuade, to inform, to entertain or to describe thanks for watching don't forget to like share comment down below and subscribe until next time